Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Nordy and today we are going to be looking into Miss Ann Harriman and Megsy's relationship from Megsy's point of view. See what is going on there. See if we can get any tea, see if we can find anything out, predict anything. So there was something dropped last night. So Megsy was pictured at an event, a private event in Monty Shit Show. Uh, it was an event to do with Miss Anne Harriman's new film. He's done, a, I think, about 20 minutes, maybe less, film on Netflix called The After. Anywho, moving on from that. So I want to check and see what is going on with Megsy being there, what she really thinks of Mr Harriman. Is he just a useful tool or what mr harriman started photography at 40 he then is now making films he's a director and a writer now which is exceptionally odd but before that he had stuff to do with boris becker and boris becker of course had some issues with the nigerian oil um I'm just saying, I'm just saying, allegedly, whatever. So we are going to have a look into Miss Anne Harriman. We are going to have a find out what Megsy feels about this all. But before I begin that, I just want to say thank you very much for supporting the channel. Um, we are doing a giveaway. At 8,000 subscribers, I am giving away a St. Johnny Thompson prayer candle. I make them myself. They're not available to buy. They're just something I do, something fun on the channel. Um, and I've got two Queen Elizabeth baubles. So one lucky winner will get win a St. Johnny Thompson candle and the Queen Elizabeth bauble of choice. And another lucky winner, another runner-up, will win a Queen Elizabeth bauble. So all you have to do is be subscribed to the channel. Please share my content about. It really helps my channel grow. And... Um, unpicking the harkles the harkle debacle using the tarot so thank you very much for being here um yeah let's 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 just get into it let's get into it so where are we at how does meg is megsy think of miss Anne harriman what does she want what is going on <clears throat> Now, if you were on my live stream earlier in the week, I said, oh, there's Miss Anne Harriman. And it, I think it was a reading around the kids. And Miss Anne Harriman was there because Miss Anne is, would be the king of wands because he's a Sagittarius. He's a fire sign. Of course, Megsy is a fire sign as well. So she would be the queen of wands. Or the strength card in reverse. <laughs> or the strength card, either or. Leo, she's a Leo. And Leo relates to the strength card. But let us have a look and see what Megsy feels about Miss Anne. What was going on in that brown suit photo? Let's have a look. Okay, we've got the Nine of Swords straight away. She's going to come up with this friendship he is basically being the knight in shining, shining armor for her um this friendship is born through her saying that she has had a rough time from us pesky brits and the british media and people on the internet and all of that stuff so i think he is getting the full works the nine of swords i feel like She's quite bought into, into each other's shtick. But straight away, there's stress there. What's crossing across them? The King of Cups. They really don't like William. They really do not like William. Now, William would come through as Cups because he is a water sign. So they really don't like William. They really don't like him. Mm -mm. I think they've got a joint hatred of the monarchy and William allegedly, etc. She's 
she wants to reframe everything. What's driving their relationship is the star. They want to kind of reframe things. Of course, the star can come up, especially around the time of the coronation. It's the new Caroline era. The star, of course, resonates to Aquarius, but I'm thinking this is more about wanting to come after some of the shine that is on the royal family they are very very knocked by william they really don't like william everything is against william we have the hanged man in reverse above which means megzi has not learnt anything this year they might change mo's they might change things a bit they might do this they might do that with regards to how they venture in public, but with the hanged man in reverse, she hasn't learned anything and she's impatient to get on with her next chapter. She really is. What's leaving the situation? The magician. Oh, I see. Now the magician is trying to put everything on the table and make things happen. And I think Miss Anne, and all of this is, you scratch my back, I will scratch your back. The connection to Netflix is through Megzi. And um, we know, we know that there has been a lot of, <clears throat> a lot of talk about people into the occult, the arcane around Megzi and Harry. So yeah, the magician is leaving the situation. I always think this card looks like her at Queen Elizabeth's funeral as well. I know it doesn't necessarily mean that, but yeah. That is very interesting. King of Swords. And that for that for oh, oh. That card always reminds me of their wedding party photo when they're looking out across the lake at the fireworks or whatever it was. Okay, the King of Swords and the World. This is some strategy. They are trying to, she is using Miss Anne, whether he likes it or not, and I'm pretty sure he's using her, whether she likes it or not. But she is wanting to turn everything on its head and get some attention. There is strategy, mind games afoot. I don't know what this guy else is going to release. I don't know what he's going to say. I He blocked me on Twitter. Completely worth it. I'll own that one. But <laughs> the world is it's it's very trying to make things happen, trying to make things begin and have a new ending. They're trying to change the optics, especially with the King of Swords here, because this is what is on Megzi's mind with her with Miss Anne. And this is what she's surrounding her. She wants the attention. She wants everything to kind of come out. She wants to change up the narrative with the King of Swords. It's almost political, you know. They're wanting to do something together. She's wanting to use him at this situation to help with something that is more political. I 
I think maybe with the Nine of Swords starting point, that is the stress. It's one thing she has, well, it's one of the many things she's been denied, but I feel like she does like let her write in and she thinks she can kind of, no offense to any Karens in, in the community, but basically Karen her way up to up to the top of society by carrying in about racial justice. Hmm. We have the three of swords. So she's going to come out about how hurt she has been, how wounding things have been. We are still going to get that difficulty she has and how much hurt has been caused to her by these mean, mean people, especially with the King of Cups crossing over. The Two of Cups is in the distant future and it is in reverse and her feelings toward Miss Anne. With regards to this, I really feel like he is going to be a useful idiot till he's useful no more. Let me have a look at um, what Miss Anne wants out of this relationship. We're doing something with politics. There's something politicky coming. I know it's a film on Netflix, but there is something politicky coming. She wants to be basically kind of like AOC, but a mom. Judgment. This is a narrative. There's something here with the narrative that they're going to be doing together, working on together. They're trying to change and trying to shift that kind of like that window where they, they want people to see things a different way, to see things how they are seen. But the judgment card, he feels like he has been judged. Let's have a look, see what's crossing over. Seven of Swords. Now the Seven of Swords... This could well be somebody uncovering something that he won't be unha won't be happy about. Possibly an Aquarian, because the Seven of Swords relates to the star sign Aquarius as well. It's also an espionage card. What's above the situation? The lovers in reverse. Okay. And what's under the situation? We have the knight of swords in reverse. He really, his energy is like, I am going to be there to protect you. Da, 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 da. But it's not necessarily coming from a place of swooping on in. I'm the knight in shining armor. This is very much more with the Knight of Swords <clears throat> in reverse, this is very more kind of hostility, what's in it for him. The lovers in reverse above, he wants to do more of a separation. He wants to kind of create disharmony and maybe take people to some uncomfortable places. And he's gonna definitely be kind of spinning some kind of narrative
and that eight of swords is in reverse. So there's definitely this kind of finding your way out of something, taking yourself out of something. The King of Swords there for Megzi and Temperance in Reverse. Sometimes people create things that are of great benefit for the world. Some other people create things to start ish. This is trying to muddy the waters, trying just to be, it's vindictive to be honest. There's something here, he is trying to be completely vindictive. And who do we have surrounding him? What's his target? We have the King of Cups. Now the King of Cups in the tarot relates to a water sign. Water sign man, I feel this could be directed at William. So they, he is definitely, because the King of Cups was crossing over, there he could be very much wanting to smear William with something of course of course I forget that Holt bloke he is a he's Pisces so it might be him but to be honest I feel like this is a kind of they're plotting something to go after William about because I'm saying that because we have the Four of Swords there. And that is very much inheritance. That is very much, I know it's a card of time out and rest and reflection on the past and your family line and your ancestors. So they could well be leaning into ancestral ties to try and smear William. We have got the four of wands in reverse. They're wanting to avoid news about an unhappy home. They are wanting to try and take the onus off Megzi and Howie and they're trying to turn everything around. Of course, this isn't going to go right. This isn't going to go right for them because he has the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. And that Wheel of Fortune in reverse shows to me that they will blame their luck, their bad luck, on, on it being just luck. But this is self-created luck. This isn't just natural. You've ended up in a bad situation in a poorer situation because you've tried to kind of finesse your way and move your way in circles that are that are not that don't have the best energy to be honest So what do you guys see? What do you see in the cards? If you've made it this far, please leave me a, um, oh, let me think. Let me think. Please leave me an apple in the comments or a fruit of your choice. <laughs> Thank you so much for being here. I do appreciate you guys hanging out with me as always. Um, they are going to try it. They really are. So let me know what you think. 
thank you so much for being here and i'll see you soon bye everyone